Hello students, in this short video uh, we're going to apply Euler's formula to um, show that uh, this expression here is uh, actually equal to the sine of x. Okay. So this shows up a lot in uh, ordinary differential equations um, when you have um, uh, solutions to second order ODEs uh, and they show up with these uh, exponentials and if you have complex roots to your characteristic equation you end up with these I's so this will show up quite a bit and um, I just want to make sure that um, our differential equation students have a good uh, solid understanding of why you get sines and cosines in your solutions to second order ODEs. All right so without further ado here we go um, I will write uh, e to the I um, ix is equal to cosine x plus i sine x, that is this term here on the left. Then e to the minus ix is the conjugate of that term, it's cosine x minus i sine x because um, cosine is an even function, so if I had a minus x in there, it would still just be cosine of x. And um, the sine of x is uh, an odd function, and so if you put a minus x in, it pops out and you have a minus there. So um, that's because cosine is symmetric about the y axis and sine x is anti-symmetric about the y-axis. Now what I'm going to do is, um, since I have e to the ix minus e to the minus ix, I'm going to distribute a minus sign through there, and then um, I'm going to add these two together, and I get e to the minus x minus e to the minus ix, and that is equal to um, what we are end up in the right-hand side is the cosines cancel out now, and you get 2i sine x and then that's starting to look like what we have here so if I divide both sides by 2i I then have that e to the ix minus e to the minus ix over 2i is equal to sine x so you can write the sine of x as um, a combination a linear combination of complex exponentials good luck